Big changes are coming to films Night of Nights. In proof that audiences do control what goes to air, organisers of the Academy Awards are overhauling the primetime TV show in America. It will be shortened and include a popular film category in moves designed to boost ratings. To tell us more about the changes, would you please welcome award-winning comedian, host of Studio 10 and awards show expert, Denise Scott! <laughs> Denise, welcome. Welcome. So... All right, so the Oscars are adding a separate category for best popular picture. What's your take on this? Well, I think it's fantastic. It's exactly what the Oscars needs, to be more like the Logies. <laughs> Make it a popularity contest. Wonderful. In fact, I think they should take it further. And for starters, I think they should move it to the Gold Coast. <laughs> so, hang on, you, you seriously think the Oscars should be on the Gold Coast? Absolutely. Why not? I was at the Logies this year and in keeping with their Gold Coast culture, there was free booze, Charlie, and we all know what that means. Spew. <laughs> and plenty of it. Oh, it makes the event so much more colourful. <laughs> and inclusive. You know, it didn't matter whether you were old or young, male or female, cast or crew, everyone was having a vomit. <laughs> so is there anything else that the Oscars could borrow from the Logies? Oh, yes, absolutely, Charlie. Food. At the Oscars, everyone sits in formal rows. Mm -hmm. But at the Logies, you get to sit down at tables and you get to eat a decent meal, which is great because the women have been starving themselves. <laughs> I sat with my Studio 10 colleagues, Sarah Harris and Ange Bishop. They hadn't eaten anything in six weeks, Charlie. <laughs> I saw them come back to life in front of my eyes. <laughs> Still get emotional about that. <laughs> Oh, and it's also great for people like, you know, Grant Denier, who, as we all know, had his show cancelled, so it meant he could run around the room shoving bread rolls into his pockets, you know, for the rough times ahead. <laughs> <laughs> At the Logies, no-one pays any attention to the actual ceremony because everyone's busy on their mobile phones tweeting about the event instead. So much so that at one point, seriously, I had to tweet, could someone please pass me the butter? <laughs> <laughs> did that, did that it, work? It, it worked. Well, eventually. You know, someone did pass me the butter, oh, but by then, Grant Denier had already pocketed my bread roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Oscars... The other thing the Oscars said is they want to get the broadcast down to three hours of airtime. Mm -hmm. Now, three hours, that's the same runtime as an episode of Studio 10. Exactly. And they should just do what we do, infomercials. <laughs> Instead of asking Scarlett Johansson, who are you wearing, you could just get her to demonstrate the new Dyson <laughs> by vacuuming all the cocaine that people have spilled. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it does have great suction, doesn't it, Scarlett? <laughs> Quick, hoover it before Meryl Streep gets a whiff. <laughs> you know, I would definitely tune in to see that. Would you please thank Denise Scott! <laughs>